is our apartment tour. Currently, we um, are renting a condo in Bangkok, Thailand. It's about 300 um, square feet. So we have a living room, a kitchen, a bedroom, and a bathroom. So this is the general um, entrance. There's not that much space. So in Thailand, we have to take off our shoes. So we pretty much just walk in and we take our shoes off and we tuck everything in underneath the TV. Uh, and we both have house slippers. We have a nice TV here that we don't actually watch um, and lots of storage for us since it's great because we don't have that much stuff. Um, we have like a shelf here. We pretty much just keep like loose change, my bag, sunglasses, and um, some other little things like our tripod, and a umbrella. Um, but yeah, we have tons of space and um, we could pretty much tuck everything away um, with the little stuff that we do have. Mm -hmm. So this is our living room. Um, this is a nice size couch. This is the owner. So the way it works in Thailand is uh, a lot of the apartments or condos that you'll rent um, in a building, it's owned by someone and they usually have their own furniture in here. So we're lucky because we actually like the aesthetic of this owner's um, apartment, like her style. So we have this nice couch, which is really comfortable. Um, this big rug. Uh, Tony usually works from here. This is my, but Tony usually works from here. And then we go into the kitchen. The kitchen is nice. We have a um, table for us to sit in. Uh, the fridge is a little small. We don't have that much in there. It works, but we do have to replenish quite often since if we don't have that much space. We have a microwave. The thing about apartments in Bangkok, it seems that most of them don't have an oven at all, so which is fine. Um, so we just use a microwave. You could get a toaster oven, but we don't, we don't want to mess with that. Here we have a, we have two, what do we call it? Hot plates. Two hot plates. Yes. We have two hot plates here. Um, they're electric. We're used to gas. Having two is a little difficult to navigate because we're used to having four. Um, so when we're cooking, we kind of have to like rotate and just like let food sit out on the side. It's okay, but it's um, it is smaller than what we're used to. We don't have too much counter space. Um, but it's all right. We use the we use the table for um, chopping vegetables and prepping food and stuff. Yeah, but we have some storage. We have trash in here. We have one pantry cabinet thing where we keep our food. Um, there's a light here and like a fan. A fan. Yeah. So. That's nice. Uh, keep our cups and plates here. And yeah, it's a, it's a good amount of space. I love that we have these huge windows here that overlook the river, which is amazing. So I like to come out here and drink my coffee or tea in the morning and enjoy the view and listen to the sounds of the city. In the mornings, we'll hear roosters from the neighbors uh, that live down here. The roosters and the, the chanting. So at the temple that um, is just over that way, uh, you'll hear chanting throughout the day, um, like prayer. I Right? Mm -hmm. kind of prayer? Yeah, prayers. Yeah, so prayers throughout Meditation. the day. So it's really like calming. Uh, so we have various noises. We have like the motorbikes going over the bridge and we 
have people walking across the bridge too, which kind of like creates that like banging noise. And then we have like the roosters and then we have like the monk monks chanting over there. So it's all like lots of really cool sounds to hear, but it's not disturbing at all. It's actually like really nice to like kind of hear that. So a lot of kitchens and living rooms are partitioned off and um, you are able to slide this in, especially like when you're cooking. So if you're making something really fragrant, you can just close this off so it doesn't affect the rest of the apartment, which is nice. But we usually we keep this, we keep it open most of the time. We have two AC units um, in the apartment, uh, one here in the living room. Uh, this building, I don't think most buildings have central air in the apartments. So we have one unit here and we have one unit in the bedroom that we control with a remote so we could just turn it off whenever we leave and it keeps us nice and cool in the Bangkok heat. So this is our bedroom. Uh, so everything from the furniture to like the duvet and the pillows are also the owners. Um, don't worry, we washed them and we've bought new sheets, um, which is pretty cool. So like we don't have to spend too much money like getting things that we will have to get rid of because we're only going to be here for six months. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. We have like these like kind of blackout curtains because the bridge um, right in front of our right in front of our windows, like the lights are pretty bright, so these blackout curtains really help to uh, eliminate that disturbance like when we sleep. But check out this view. It's awesome. Like it's so amazing, especially at night to see like the lights. Um, shining. I love seeing like all of these contrasts like the traditional with like the modern like architecture and just like seeing the river every day. The water is so calming. And, and there are mango trees right there. Yeah, there are, and, there like, are mango various trees. fruit trees around here. Yeah, and sometimes down here, right here at this house, um, the older gentleman lives there. And he will do like spear fishing, um, right? Yeah, he'll take out a spear or just a regular fishing pole mm -hmm. and go fishing down here. It's pretty cool. Sometimes I watch him, it's kind of calming. And then there are tons of boats, boat taxis that go along the river dropping people off or people just fishing. We use this for some of our storage and we have our tech things here, like uh, toiletries, my makeup. Our luggage is up here. Um, that's kind of like the only place they fit in this apartment. I was worried because I didn't know where it was going to go. I thought they had to go like under the mattress, but Tony just put them up there and they are out of the way. And last is our bathroom. Mm -hmm. So it's a pretty decent sized bathroom. Um, big sink, you know, toilet, all Toilets in Thailand or maybe in Southeast Asia come with a hose. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I don't know. I, I think, think a lot of countries have that. I um, don't know. I haven't seen this in the States. Not in the Mostly States. I don't here. think it's common in the West, but in other international countries. And what's cool is that it has two different buttons. Uh, one for number one and one for number two. And <laughs> one uses more water than the other. Yeah, so we have a great... Uh, we have a pretty big shower. Uh, we have a uh, electric, like a, a water uh, It's like a box. water heater. Yeah. <clears throat> and so, when you go to take a shower, you have to turn the heater on, and that's where you can adjust the temperature. Yeah, so it's off, so it'll just be cold when you, t if you just took a shower now, but you can pretty much increase the temperature, um, depending on what you're in the mood for. All right, now that you've seen inside the apartment, I'm going to take you on a tour of the building and show you some of the other amenities, including the swimming pool, the gym, the awesome 7-Eleven, 
couple of restaurants that we have downstairs and the laundry. Speaking of laundry, I gotta do laundry, so I'm gonna take it down now. Let's go. So in order to get down, you gotta use a key card. We're going down to one. Let's go guys. So this is the lobby of our building. Mailboxes lined up here. We could normally come down and get some water here for four baht per bottle, which is like pennies, not even a penny, but it's currently under construction, so it's not working right now. So this is the outdoor area right in front of the gym. So downstairs we have a laundry mat, a a full-time juristic or administrative office that'll take care of any of your needs from uh, fixing something in your apartment to getting a key or uh, just general directions or instructions. Uh, right next to it we have two restaurants as well as a hair salon and then at the end of that row is a 7-Eleven and you can go downstairs at any time of the day, any day of the week and grab some snacks uh, household items, toiletries, whatever you want. It's uh, it's all there, which is super convenient. There's an ATM, and then uh, just adjacent to it is a giant courtyard with a playground and large space for you to just sit down, uh, relax, have a picnic if you'd like. It's a great space for hanging out with your friends and family. Uh, on the sixth floor where I'm at now is where the gym and swimming pool are. Uh, the swimming pool is, I think, one of the coolest features of the building. It is a uh, open-air swimming pool with a beautiful view of the city, and you can see uh, you can see the Sky Train from here. You can see the river. You can see the grocery store, and then the gym has you know some treadmills, bikes, and some free weights. It's not the biggest gym, but uh, in all honesty, it gets what you need done. We have enjoyed living here um, very much. It is extremely convenient and is located next to uh, a few grocery stores, the SkyTrain, uh, a shopping center, co-working spaces, cafes, and all of that is within a few minutes walk, um, which is one reason why we chose this place. So you may be wondering how much it costs us to live in this building. It cost us 14,000 baht, which is about 420 US dollars with the current exchange rate. That is a little more than what we could be paying, and that is because of two reasons. One, because we're a foreigner, and so uh, the, the rates are a little higher in general, which is sort of inescapable. And two, is because we're on a short-term lease for six months, um, and anything less than a year, owners uh, and property managers oftentimes increase the rental rate by about one to 2,000 baht, which is what happened to us. But, um, you know, we're totally fine with that given the convenient location and the shorter term lease. Um, after the lease is up, we'll determine what to do next. But all in all, we're quite satisfied with where we are, the location, the amenities, and the security that is provided here is top notch. So I hope you enjoyed the apartment tour and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Peace. So here's the courtyard. Oh look, a lizard. Where'd he go?